What do you do with a great, passionate video performance recorded, but you got no sound output? We're about to go through how I applied some cool editing techniques in Camtasia 9 to create a super fun video meme. So if you want to see how I creatively produced this 30 second video meme with several effects, including clip speed and behaviors, then this video is for you. Oh. And before I forget, most of the techniques here can apply in most editors out there. Hey, hey, it's Gord here. Welcome. If it's your first time here and it's your passion to make great videos, become a ninja at video editing and learn more tips on how to succeed with video and marketing on YouTube, then make sure you hit the subscribe button and click the bell notification icon so that you don't miss a thing. We're inside Camtasia now and let's take a first quick look at the cool square format video meme that I created. I call it making lemonade out of lemons. As the video plays, you're going to see the timeline as it goes along. There's these various markers along the bottom. They represent all the focus edit points that we're going to be talking about just after you watch the video. Pay attention. Notice how everything syncs to the music, the zoom ins and outs and the speed of what you see on display. And you know, the music plays a great role and we have a beautiful HD background. Let's see how it, how it plays. Okay, so now we're having a deep look at the timeline here and I want to show you that in the main video clips we have the clip speed here and it's at different rates throughout and we're going to talk about that as we go. And just as an important side note, please be sure to check out my companion video to this one and it's called Camtasia Slow Motion and Fast Motion. And in there I take a closer look into the basics of clip speed and motion. So we're not going to go through, you know, all the details of how to go into the visual effects and add the animation, the, um, the clip speed and tune that. That's the focus of the other video. So we're going to take a, a deep dive into how we put this, this whole theme together using clip speed as an editing technique. So first off, you can see in the, in the very first clip, the clip speed is at 2.79. So right away out of the gate, we've started out and the, the, we're into fast motion right away. See? So as we move on, we, we see here that at this point here, that all of a sudden the speed is going to increase from the 2.79 to 5.42 times. Plus shortly after that start, we have an animation here, which is a zoom in. So let's just see how that all plays out so you can get a feel for that. So you see everything sped up from the original clip speed that was in here 2.79 times to go to 5.42 times plus we did a zoom in and the reason why all of this is done is to keep the video engaging so not only is it fast motion but then we we change the distance where i am and we speed me up here in this clip and do a zoom in so a lot of visual changes happening and then when we get to the next stage here, which is at this marker where we say faster and zoom out, you're going to see that now we increase the clip speed again to 11.35 times. So now we'll just watch how that transition happened and it's for a very short time. So watch this. So not only was this clip for a very short time, right after it, you're gonna see that we go into a, a, the next stage where I actually do a zoom out and at the same time from that high clip speed, we sh slow right back down. So we're continuing to keep the visual effects going and the, the zooming changing to just to keep the engagement. And this last, you know, very sort of the fast clip here was only just, I think, a couple of seconds long, not even there, just a couple, little over two seconds. So see how this transitions to these points quickly again. And notice how the music went to like a peak. Um, maxed out on the high clip speed and then it, the beat changed when we slowed down. So just watch that through this quick cycle. So 
so now you can see that the that that th th things started to slow down a bit and and the speed has come down and we're now down to 2.79 so this plays for a nice period of time 10 seconds more text coming out and then we get to the next point and watch this we'd use what's called extend a frame but what we actually did there was use the extend a frame feature which um you can look at it in another video it's not the focus here but the whole point was that we took a cycle of about two seconds and froze the frame again another visual effect so I'm just going to let you see how this plays out. So we went from 2.79, very fast speed, to like a stop motion right here. Let's see how that goes. So you see how that made you pause and think and look and wonder what's going on. And then as soon as that ends, we change it up again right here. So in the last uh, part, I just put in a kind of cool effect to get me on the chair and then pop out. So watch what happens here. So you see very, very subtly, I kind of, it almost looked like I jumped out of the chair and I use the behavior called pulsating with a grow. So that starts out. If we look in, we'll, we'll zoom in closer here. We're going to see, so we went back to the 2.79 clip speed, but, but you can see here, there's the, behavior called pulsating and the in has a grow so if I go by frame by frame here you're going to see what happens so we had a blank and then see how it grows it went from the center popped out I got like kind of larger than life pulled back and then it has me lifting off and going so that was just like another cool added effect to make the uh the video more interesting at the end so we'll play that one last time <music> For the text callouts in this video meme, what you're going to see is that we had four, five, six that look that were approximately about two seconds in length, a little over two seconds in length each, and then we have these last four text callouts at the end that are a little over four seconds each in length, and that's significant because of the kind of effect that we wanted. So it's not only about the amount of text that's on there; it's also for the impact that we wanted to create. So the time amounts varied. Now, the text, uh, all the text displays were done with the sliding behavior. And you're going to see up here in the top right corner, the behavior is shown here with an in and a during and an out. And what I want people to appreciate is that we're not going into depth here on how to apply behaviors in terms of the basics and the fundamentals. But what you can do is you can go and check out my Camtasia 9 behaviors video to help you get the basics down and how to add and manipulate behaviors in general. Here we're just sort of talking about how we applied the sliding behavior in the context of this meme. So back to that. And what we're going to see here is in this first one, if you watch and observe that the first, the first, um, text piece comes in on the top and then you see one come in the bottom then another one in the top and the bottom so I had them alternate one in the top one in the bottom and that was because I had so much going on with the video with me in there and a motion background that I wanted you to still be able to see the text if I had it coming in at the top and the bottom in the beginning I felt it would have been just a little too much so that was a choice I made so let's just watch how that executes and then you're gonna see it comes in from the top see here see it slides down from the top and then the bottom what the next one comes it actually slides in from the bottom I don't know if you can see that well but we're gonna try and make that visible here so if we go there see it comes in from the bottom I just went frame by frame so that uh, that same approach executes for the first six of these so we'll just play for a couple so you get that feeling watch it come in from the top and the bottom and then watch that in the middle of the behavior you're going to see that the, the text actually almost looks like it's fading in and out, but it's actually doing it a character by character, almost like a wave. So watch again. Wow. Mastering the application of visual effects like clip speed and behaviors 
will enable you to add more creative flair to your memes and other micro content creations. If you want to look more closely at the clip speed fast motion example I created here and use it as a template for getting a head start, then go ahead and download my free project file. All you have to do is click the link on the screen or in the video description below. See you in another video soon.